Hi, I'm Lenny Lipton. This is my dog, Belle. Lenny Lipton is sitting in his living room. Puff, the magic dragon. Reading something you've probably heard. Lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanalee. Lenny wrote what has become the stoner's anthem. I wrote Puff the Magic Dragon. When he was a 19-year-old college student. I was a freshman at Cornell. Now, can you sit? Thank you, dear. Okay, I was reading a poem by Ogden Nash called Custard the Dragon. Soon after, he went to meet friends for dinner. As I was walking down the hill to the apartment, I was thinking about the poem I read, and I thought I'd try to write one, too, about a dragon. He got to his friend's apartment and let himself in. I saw a typewriter on a kitchen table. And I typed, Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist and land called Hanalee. And although I didn't find out about this for a couple of years, Peter Yarrow, who became the Peter of Peter, Paul and Mary, was one of the guys who lived in the apartment. He saved the poem. I completely forgot about it. I even left it in the typewriter, and he set it to music. That's how the song got written, and it changed my life. But Lenny's story doesn't stop there. I've got something like 72 patents. I invented the way to project 3D movies you're likely to see if you go to the cinemas. He also invented those awkward glasses you have to wear to see them. This is Crystal Eyes. This is the first uh, commercial pair of uh, 3D active uh, electronic eyewear. And everyone from NASA to James Cameron has used them. NASA on Mars and Cameron underwater. Lenny is also a filmmaker. He's produced over 25 movies. It's a Lifetime Achievement Award. And he's written several books all about, well, film and one autobiography. But I don't think it's of interest. My wife read one chapter and she said she didn't want to read anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a book about his life is not his magnum opus. Good thing a song about drugs is, because that's what it's about, right? If people want to think it's about pot, uh, it's uh, fine with me. Wait, it's not? Not as far as I'm concerned. Puff the Magic Dragon is not about drugs. And who knows? Who knows what I was thinking? Oh.